got stuff in them. You have something. Oh, I think it's the. I think it's. Is that love or what? Okay. I'll pick your teeth, honey, if you pick mine. Yours is just that little triangle, but it fills in. It's gone. Yeah, but your yours you have two things you need to go get. <laughs> Yeah, that was on camera. I'm going to bribe you with it later. All right. So this week we're going to talk about the elephant in the room. Everybody knows what we're talking about. We all face it. Everybody thinks they have an answer for it. Teresa, set the stage for this. Okay, you walk in Monday morning, right? You left Friday, the schedule was packed. You start listening to the messages and what happens to your schedule? Yep, it blew up <laughs> right in your face. Now, do you have a little stress? Right, and, and so let's go through. So like the, the assistants. So what do we have now happening in the back? In front, you know that the doctor is going to be kind of standing behind you. and <laughs> Well, he doesn't have anything to do. Right. He's going to bug the heck out of you. Right. So you started your day looking like this. And you ended your day looking like this. Now, is there anything you can do to pre- just be proactive and get these patients to not cancel. Is there anything? Why does this even happen? And you know, think about this. We had a staff meeting the other day and I said, okay, how many of y'all have ever canceled on your hair appointment? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> now you skip parties. You, <laughs> you make every effort to get to your hair appointment. That's just a fact. And why? It's important to you. You value it. Not so much in dentistry. I mean, <laughs> let's, let's be real. But you know what? There's something that we started doing, and we were tracking this. We, it's important. We were tracking, and our, our uh, no-show uh, percentage was about 12%. And I'll tell you what, that's a lot. It really is a lot. And when we started doing this, and it's simple, we were able to cut that down in half. All right, so what do you break? See, you're you continuously talk. I can't cut in. Okay. You have to give me seconds in between so that I can do something. Okay. So we started naming a concern. Now, what does that mean? Like, okay, after their hygiene appointment, you'd say something like, well, Joanna, make sure that Judy here gets on a schedule in six months because, you know, the hygienist is really concerned with the amount of buildup and we don't want her to go past that. You know, this is, this is subtle and it's small, but it really, what you're really trying to do, and this is not, not so easy to create value, but that's what we're doing by Every patient that leaves the office, we have a concern. You are creating that value. And it's not going to reach everybody, but it's going to make a big difference. Well, remember, we were able to cut our no-shows and cancellations in half. And this is really the only change we made. So, what I want you to do is, there's a principle that goes along with this week. And I want you to print it out and start looking at the concerns because they're going to be one of one of those things. Yeah. And we'll give you an idea of how it works in our office. So you can, you can see, you know, for yourselves how this, how this works. Okay. All right.
Hey guys, I'm Dr. Tim Cashin. And I'm Teresa Cody. Hey, and we've been married for 25 years. We've been in practice together and we're still married. <laughs> Miracle! <laughs> but you know what? Um, we want to just tell you briefly what this is about. You know, and really it's about, it's about you. You know, we had a nice practice for, you know, 20 plus years and... But let's face it, we, <laughs> we underestimated the true importance of training our staff. And you know what? You guys are great. You're doing a job without ever getting any formal training. I think it's fantastic. You know, we did a lot of training over the years, but we didn't seem to relay that to the staff. And so we have come to realize how critical it is that not just the doctor, but everybody on the team gets trained regularly and consistently. Right, right. And now we do it, we have a big meeting once a week and these videos every day. That way you just keep putting the information in. Because we all stop doing good things that we should be doing. We're going to promise you something. It's not going to be all serious, okay? And analytical. Because how do we learn? We learn by having fun. Uh, we're going to be silly on this. Uh, we're going to be, you know, some of it serious and so forth. But, but really, we want this to be about you. Because there is no way that any office can be successful truly, truly. through its potential without you guys. No, you staff make it. And you know, we doctors are dumb. <laughs> we think it's about us and it's really about you. And you know, this training series is really for your office, your successful office. This is not beginner training. This right, is, right. you are already successful. These were the the thing that took us over the hump. Mm -hmm. They're going to be short. Um, you know, they're not going to be long and drawn out. Uh, we want to have some fun with it. But I think most of all, um, you're going to you're going to be better off because these are the things that that we have learned from the most successful practices. So we want to bring them to you in a fun way, kind of a lighthearted way, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Great. Wasn't exactly a story.